All right, so it's been a while since I had time to take a look at these safes. One thing I didn't show you on this uh, access safe here is the uh, glass relocker in it. So we'll take a look at that. So this is a uh, 5240 safe there. It's already open, ready to go. So you can see in this safe, uh, we'll take a look at the tan in a minute, that this one is also set up for dual custody right from the uh, factory. It just doesn't have the uh, penetration in the front for the second dial. I guess you could go a key dial or a second combination lock or what have you. But there's a big glass plate from here down to here. If you can see that. So if you were to try to drill this, you'd damage that plate. I, don't, I imagine that it's heat sensitive as well. So if you try to, if this was to burn, you'd have a problem with that glass. And uh, we moved this fairly roughly. I was concerned we might break that, but luckily we didn't. So you can see this has got a lot of uh, plated parts in it. It's quite nice. It should last a long time, but it only has uh, the pins on one side. I suppose it's just not really possible to yank the other side out very easily. Although you can see the pins on this side are just sort of welded, tack welded. So you might be able to rip uh, the door open, but I don't know. I'm sure they tried that in the factory. So got some aircraft cable to here. There's no fusible links in this. It just it has second pin excuse me as I adjust the focus, a second pin here that uh, is tied to the grass, the glass relocker that'll drop into one of these locations here and make it impossible to open. And uh, it's the same setup on the uh, top. It's just got the pin that goes through this plate. So you could probably make a, a second lock set for this relatively easily. There's nothing in here, I don't know if that's uh, for another uh, option. There's some threaded studs there. Again, it seems like there's always an ambulance going by here when I do a video. Anyway, so I just wanted to show the glass. So if you had broken that glass, I guess you have to, well, first get into the safe and then you'd have to take the mechanism apart to replace that glass. So I thought that was interesting to show. I looked online and I didn't really see any videos of a glass relocker. There's lots of talk about them, but no real proof that they exist. So they just have these pins here for the aircraft cable. Move the mechanism. Ah, oh, pretty simple. So I mentioned this before in the other video that this came out of a, uh, a jewelry store. Now we have another one that came out of a, a credit union here. This one's a, the real deal here. It's got dual custody with the two dials. It's got an expanding strip on it, so if it was in a fire, it would seal itself up. It has a time lock provision. Now do not leave this door loose inside of here if you're going to lock the safe. I had to tilt the safe forward because this opened with the safe locked and I couldn't get the safe opened. It was quite a hassle. So you can see on here, I've shown this uh, one before, certainly a different vintage of work, but it's got the pins on both sides. You got the dual custody. It has a fusible link there. So if you were to drill through this thing, these pins would all fire, assuming that, yeah, they're loose, they still move. Another pin down here. Yeah, they're all good. They should work. Let's see if I can operate the swift hand on it. So this has got pins on top. So. I said, like I said, this is a completely different level of security on this one. I don't know which one would take longer to open than nowadays because this one was built quite a bit longer earlier than the other one. This one's like 
five to six thousand pounds and the other one's like half the weight doesn't the other one doesn't have armored sides on it like this one so I thought I'd just uh, show you that and the different uh, security mechanisms that you could find in safe so thank you for watching all right I just discovered something so there's actually a vibration detector in this safe there's enough light to see that or not DV1201A I thought it was just a junction box it had some resistors in it and whatnot so it has the door sensor the 10 used to have one of those and then it's got a fire detector and then a vibration detector so I think that was kind of neat so that's things that you can add and then it looks like there's a, uh, a tamper switch on the cover it's actually a very heavy cover so I thought I'd just throw that into the end of the video. So once again, thanks for watching.